This is a real in-depth meteorological explanation I have for you all tonight. Sounds like it. Okay, so let me get into this. I, I had, it, it all started with this. Rick Wynn, of course, at Log Wizard. I have no idea what Yo, that means. Yo, Pedro. Yeah. Yo, Pedro. What are the woolly bears saying the winter's going to look like? So you may ask, what's a woolly bear? Right here. This right here. <laughs> Go back to the picture. There it is. That's a woolly bear caterpillar. It's also known in different parts of the United States as a fuzzy bear, a woolly worm, and a hedgehog caterpillar. So just exactly what's the deal with the woolly bear caterpillars predicting, predicting the weather? Well, I'm going to explain that to you tonight because I, I, I hear this all the time. There's all this folklore and all this stuff. And I think, actually, I think it's kind of cool because, you know, it's kind of interesting, at least uh, I'm into history, so it's interesting how this stuff develops. So anyway, the woolly bear or the woolly worm caterpillar. So it's just a furry brown and black caterpillar that's, that's found in the autumn, okay? I mean, you can see what it looks like right over here. So what takes place is, the folklore is this. During the autumn, the woolly bear's black color varies with the severity of the coming winter. That's the folklore. So here's the story. A mild winter, the more brown, the more mild, okay? A moderate winter, slightly less brown. And you can see how the colors are changing here on the woolly bear caterpillar. A harsh winter, look at the caterpillar. It's mostly black. So I gotta debunk this, okay? So I went to Texas A&M and I went to Baylor and they've, I'm not making this up, they've actually done studies on this. And what the story is this, is the caterpillar can't predict the upcoming winter. The colors change based on how well the caterpillar has fed or its age or its species. So. Stick with the farmer, farmer's almanac, or maybe my forecast, yours truly. It's pretty good, too. 